I hate when people say stuff like, I'd rather be riding my bike than washing it. Because washing a motorcycle is a very therapeutic task. It's special bonding time between you and your bike and a good opportunity to spot loose bolts or other issues you might not have noticed otherwise. After all, a clean bike is a fast bike. I do agree it can be a painful task if you don't have the right tools for the job. And you'd be forgiven for thinking that the right tools for the job cost a lot of money. To get something bright yellow, every form of specialized brush on offer, and a name brand degreaser. So what if you tried to achieve the same results with less money than a pressure washer itself costs? And I mean a lot less, like only $25. After my American dollars were rejected at my local not-so-American hardware store, I snuck out the back with what I think is the ultimate budget motorcycle cleaning kit. And rather unsurprisingly, it starts with a bucket. Well actually, two buckets. These were the cheapest and arguably the best colored buckets available. I got two to take advantage of the two bucket method. Using one bucket to rinse the cloth in plain water and one bucket for warm soapy water to lather up my cloth. This way all the contaminants coming off of the bike stay in their designated bucket for hoodlums and don't stick to the cloth and scratch the bike. Speaking of cloths to clean the bike, that was next in the kit. You can usually find a pack of microfiber cloths for next to nothing. This pack of four is perfect and the more cloths the better. One will go through the two bucket process to clean the majority of the bike. The second one will be banished to the chain cleaning duties so that it can spend its life covered in grease but never get it on the important paint bits. And there are still two spares for future use. To get our soapy bucket some bubbles, I settled on a generic five liter car shampoo. Bike specific cleaners are usually just as effective, but cost quite a bit more than generic car cleaners. Not to mention a lot smaller. This 5 liter will last months, if not years, depending on how frivolously you use it, and claims to be beneficial to your paintwork in plenty of ways. It helps soften and dislodge dirt on your bike, but is pretty incompetent when it comes to the greasy bits. Which is why I got chain cleaning supplies, with paraffin or kerosene depending on where you're from, and a spray bottle that the paraffin was decanted into for easy application and less wasted to make it last longer. Kerosene is by far the most effective, cheapest and easiest to come by chain cleaner that won't damage your bike's o-rings. Combined with a spray bottle, one of those microfiber cloths and elbow grease which is free and not as greasy as it sounds, you can get your chain looking brand new. I'm sure you've seen these chain cleaning brushes before and thought it would change your life. Hence why I have one. However, it's about as effective as chain wax on a belt drive. It sprays dirt into more places than it removes it from. So the best bet really is a cloth and OCD. And it's not the only useless brush that seems popular. These types of brushes are also more trouble than they're worth. They lose their bristles, bend when you get rough with them, and struggle to get into places on bikes. But luckily, the painting department has your back with these. I call it my detailing brush. It is of course just a cool looking paintbrush, but the round head of bristles combined with their short length means they're very effective at dislodging dirt in tight places that your fingers in a cloth couldn't get to. 
Somehow, the bristles are the perfect strength and length, making it my new favorite secret weapon. And I'm sure it's cheaper than the useless brushes as well. With your bike dirt free, it probably needs to be dried. And if you're on an even tighter budget, one of those spare microfiber cloths can do the trick. But I would suggest this, a super absorbent chamois that gravitates towards water droplets. I think they're meant for cleaning as well, but that's not what they're best at. They go rock hard when they dry up, which shows how much they want water. And that is what makes them so good at drying a bike. Just keep wringing them out and they will keep finding all the water lying in the crevices of your bike. They also last forever and are gentle on the paintwork. And finally, we get to the optional extra part of the kit. Polish. Again, car polish works brilliantly and is cheaper than bike specific brands because it's made for the masses. Apply it to your glossy paintwork with one of the spare microfibers, leave it on for a minute or two and wipe it off. It will leave a protective layer on your paint making the next washing session easier to dislodge the dirt. It's optional because you might not have much paintwork on your bike or you might want to limit the budget even further. But you should know that it will last so long you'll forget how much it cost you. So that is what makes up my ultimate budget motorcycle cleaning kit. And hopefully it can help you get your bike cleaner for less money. Prices will obviously differ depending on what brands you buy and where you buy them from. But it should be around $25 with no need to replace anything for a good few months. Let me know what you would add to this kit or leave out down in the comments below. And send this video to someone who needs to wash their bike more often. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next ride.